Raw as an athlete. A lot of people, and myself included in years gone by, worry so much about, oh, I don't have enough energy, uh, I need, to, I gotta eat something before, I gotta throw some food down before I go for a run because I'm about to blow through all this energy and you know, I'm gonna run out and I don't, wanna, I don't wanna bonk while I'm out there. And it's, you know, there's all these fears around, so they, they just kind of shove some food down, even though they probably weren't hungry. My experience is that I have the best runs on an empty stomach. When you eat food, food, goes, food eventually gets, you know, gets down into your stomach and then a whole bunch of blood has to, has to go into the blood vessels around the stomach area in order to digest the food. That's not a great idea while you're running because you need the blood to be in your muscles helping you to run. So <clears throat> you should only eat food while running when you have to. Obviously during an ultra marathon I have to eat while I'm running but I don't want to eat a large meal or a huge amount of food. So if I'm just going to go out for a 5k run, 10k run, even a half marathon, uh, like 21k or 13 miles, 21k, I'm really not worried about eating at all. As long as I ate enough food the day before, because what I'm running on today is what I ate yesterday. Uh, and, and once I've blown through that fuel from yesterday, then I need to, I need to start thinking about eating before I, before I hit the wall. So, you know, if, as long as I ate, you know, my, like for me, I eat about three and a half thousand cal calories a day on an average day. So if I ate that much the day before, then I'm good and I'm going to go out running and it's going to be joyful to be, to be lean. You're not carrying around the extra weight of food that you've just eaten. You're not having any aches and pains in your digestive tract from digestion. Uh, you've got all the muscle, all the blood going to your muscles and it's just a beautiful thing, it's a perfect balance. I can go out and run for, for at least three hours without eating uh, if I'm running uh, with some intensity. If I'm running just really conservatively slow, say climbing some big mountain, or I can go out for up to five hours before I'm going to hit the wall. And, and I've experienced this in Costa Rica, uh, running up Mount Chiripo there. But yeah, around five hours is when I'm, I'm going to run out and I'm, I'm really looking for some food at that point. Uh, but I'll fuel as soon as I get back afterwards, without question. So I hope this can lead you to try, try experimenting with, with uh, not being so worried about eating before you go out on a run. Maybe, maybe it start just when you first try it, just carry some food with you. Just take a few dates, maybe a banana, whatever it is. And, and I hope you find that you just don't need it because... You really shouldn't. If you had enough food the day before, you should be good for a long time. So that's my tip for today. Happy running. I'll see you out on the trails. Like, subscribe, visit, add, and follow Raw Aussie Athlete.